Black Betty. He's like, yeah, Black Betty. Like that would be funny if like somebody like you're just like, oh, Black Betty. videos and I'm here tonight to apologize for those apology videos. I never said the n-word. Nutrition is a terrible word and I would never use it. Now you know us grits. That's girls raised in the south. We use a lot of colorful language like colored or camel chalky. If we didn't use that colorful language, we would only be left with these few words. <clears throat> Butter. <laughs> Oil. <laughs> Biscuit. <laughs> Chinaman. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, that is cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> Lard, sugar, Deep fried and fudge packer. <laughs> those are those gentlemen that pack up the fudge at my restaurant. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, I ask you if there's anybody out there who has never said something that they wish they could take back. I invite you to pick up that stone, that large boulder, and throw it so hard to be at my soon-to-be ex-husband Michael's head. He's probably so fat he won't even feel it. But I will. I is what I is. And what I is, is the queen of southern fried cooking. And I'm not going to let anybody take that away from me. Not Walmart, not Target, not the Food Network, and especially not that bastard Wilfred Brimley and the Diabetes Foundation. It is true, I have caught the sugar. But that does not mean that I can't enjoy the things that I love. For instance, deep fried bread pudding made with Krispy Kreme donuts. You can find that recipe in my cookbook, The Lady and Son Savannah Country Cookbook. All you need is 12 dozen Krispy Kreme donuts and 12 sticks of butter. <clears throat> now, to prove once and for all that I love the blacks. I'd like to invite out to the stage now my friend Jelly Roll. <laughs> now go on and smile at the Jelly Roll. I have always said that black people have the whitest teeth. I don't understand why all them rappers ruin it with gold. Now. This is Jelly Roll. She is my best friend in the whole cotton picking world. We just chocolate and vanilla all mixed together. 
I'm just the bitch who makes the biscuits. <laughs> now you quit all that fool and jelly roll and tell them how much I love you people. You people? <laughs> you people? Excuse me. Y'all African Americans. <laughs> you must be referring to the time that you dressed me up as Aunt Jemima for a pancake fundraiser. Look, we just needed someone with an afro. <laughs> Or dress me as Mammy, so you can pretend to be Scarlett O'Hara. Oh, Pharaoh B. D., those were good times. <laughs> but my favorite, I must say, was that Song in the South themed party when I had all those gentlemen of color dress up like Uncle Remus and sing zippity doo dah to those children. <laughs> that truly was beautiful. You might as well call all those little cracker children Ken Cuccinelli, because that is the path of that boy. Now, Jelly Roll, did you have a hard time getting here? Or did you take the Underground Railroad? Who <laughs> the hell are you to make fun of our struggles? Our people have struggled for years to get the same rights that you've had all this time. We have had the struggle to struggle to be able to use public facilities, be able to go to school to learn how to read to get the vote, for women to get the what? vote. I... You learn to read? Oh. That's it. Fuck you, Paula. Oh, oh Jelly Roll. Roll. And I am Jelly Roll. It's Emily. It's and if I... You know what? You're probably scared to take a shit because it's darker than Holly Berry. Lord, <laughs> mercy. Does racism affect my life? No, it doesn't. Half the black people I know are on time for stuff. Now, Jelly Roll, please tell everybody that I love the blacks. It's not true. It's not on true. next week's episode. We have Elizabeth Hasselbeck from Fox News. Uh, I am tired of hearing this white bitch. <laughs> Jelly roll, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. I just don't understand what I do wrong. I'm just, I am who I is. How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs>